Okay, it's a brief, tu brief tutorial on creating a sumo bot. So first thing we want to do is drop in a weight block. And we know this is five seconds. Next one, what do we want? You got it, we want a loop block. And then we want a switch block inside the loop, which is called a Boolean expression. Okay, so let's bring our page down so we can see what we're doing. We've got a, uh, a yes and a no, we've got a yes at the top. We've got a no down the bottom. Okay, so we're going to make sure we've got, we're choosing to use a color sensor. We're going to compare reflected light intensity. Just here we've got equal to, so and so on. We want less than. So make sure that we've got the correct port selected. We're going to have this less than 20 because a black line, it is, this is measuring the amount of reflected light. So black is a very low amount of reflected light. So we're going to have 20. Now, if we have a look at this, we're saying wait five seconds, and then we can say, okay, if the light sensor senses light that is less than 20, if yes, what we're going to do, first thing we want to do is the motors, we want to stop off, bang, we want to stop. Kind of weird that you need a move block to make it stop, but you do. Um, then we're going to say we want it to go to negative 50 and negative 50 for one rotation. These variables here, these um, might negatives and also numbers, you can choose number of rotations or degrees. That's a variable that you can change. Then we want it to, again, another move block. We're going to say minus 100 and positive 100 for one rotation. It's going to spin around really, really quickly. Again, these variables are what you need to change to do, make your bot do what you want it to do. So, at the most basic level, we've just a line sensor with not, with it, without the ultrasonic sensor. We're going to say, if the light is less than 20, which is a black line, if that is the case, we want it to stop, go back one rotation, spin around one. Then the sensor will be on the white. What do we want it to do? We want it to go flat out, so we want to turn it to on, and we want to go 100 and 100. So we can stop there right now, ready to compete. Um, but if we want to use add an ultrasonic sensors, we're going where it says when it's on. If it's not over a black line, that's what we're going to have down the bottom. So we're going to add in a another switch called balloon expression, uh, we're going to use ultrasonic sensor. We're going to compare distance in centimetres. If it is less than 50, then if it is less than 50, we're going to say attack. And we're going to go on at 100%. What happens if we say 200? It's 100, it's in percent, 100 percent. So if it is not seeing anything. What do we want it to do? We want it to go around in circles. Do we want to go flat out? No, if you think about yourself and spin around flat out, you can't really identify what's around you. So we're going to say negative 25 and positive 25. We're going to move around slowly so we can see something. So then it's going to, once it sees something, it's then going to move up to here to yes and go flat out. It goes across a black line, it's going to stop, go backwards and turn around. Uh, and again, all this is inside a loop block, and so it's going to just keep going until you tell it to stop. 